Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about point mutations of DNA or DNA point mutations. I will be talking about the type of mutations. And when we talk about type of mutations, there are different kinds of mutations out there. There are chromosomal number, a change in the chromosomal number, there is a change in chromosomal structure. But we are not going to talk about the chromosomal mutation here. We are going to talk about the DNA mutation, particularly point mutation. What do we mean by point mutation? As the name suggests, there, is, there will be change, there will be change in nucleotide sequence or simply as base in the DNA, among the DNA. So there is changes in the DNA. And when I say there is change only in one particular point, one single nucleotide, but that single nucleotide can result in a drastic modification of the type of proteins that they are going to produce. That's what we are going to find, that's what we are going to see right now in this particular lecture. So remember one thing, before understanding this uh, point mutation, you need to know one thing that we have DNA where all the information is in place. All the information is in place. And then this DNA is encoded, that transcribed into RNA, mRNA. mRNA carries that information as a messenger. And then further this mRNA is translated into proteins. They are translated into proteins. So this is a journey from DNA to RNA, RNA to proteins and this journey is not a linear kind means basically this journey is always like this from DNA to RNA, RNA to proteins but the thing is the DNA, the number of DNA that is present here and the number of RNA is even more and number of proteins present even more. So there is always amplification of the information that is transferred from DNA originated from DNA to RNA then from RNA to proteins. So if there is any mistake or a problem in the DNA will be further amplified in the proteins. Clear? That is why mutation even in the single point in the single point of the DNA can entirely entirely change the protein expression. Okay? And one more thing that I want you to understand is the protein structure. Primarily the protein after synthesis amino acid stitched together like with the peptide bond. So this is polypeptide chain. In this polypeptide chain there are different amino acids out there. Okay, And when I say different amino acids I am talking about uh, let us say uh, the neutral amino acids or you can say let us say hydrophobic amino acid out there. And then there are positive charge amino acids, negative charge amino acids out there. There are bulkier ring of amino acids out there. There are small structures of amino acid R group out there. So these all varieties are due to the R group of the amino acids, right? For example, glycine is only very small R group, uh, having a very small R group while proline has a bulkier R group. Similarly, we have glutamic acid as a negative charge amino acid, lysine as a positively charged amino acid. So, due to this point mutation, if the nature of amino acid changes, if the nature of amino acid alters, that is going to reflect in the protein structure. In the protein structure, largely will, will be visible in the protein structure and of course protein function. That's what we are mostly concerned about. So now we are going to talk about the type of point mutation that are available there. And I divide them into two different kinds. Remember, I divide them into two different types. First type, first type of mutations are out there are subs, like these are substitutions. Substitutions. Substitution type. Substitution in nucleotide. And then there is another example we will see that is insertion or deletion insertion or deletion type. These are these two separate types. Okay, So, in a substitution type, the easy way to remember, you know, I am going to give you a mnemonic to remember this. Here we have this mnemonic for you and that is CMEs, CMEs, nonsense friend. If you remember this, Simi's nonsense friend, you can easily 
remember the four very important kind of point mutations to the DNA. Let's decipher this code. Simi's nonsense friends. Starting from SI. So this is SI. So the first one, Simi's SI, starting with SI, we have silent mutation. The second one, MI, right? Missense mutation. CME, SI for silent, MI for missense. Then what we have? CME is nonsense. The third kind, nonsense. And the last one, friend. Okay? That is frame shift. And the frame shift mutation comes under insertion or deletion kind, which is separate. Okay. So, this is what we have here. Simi's nonsense friend, SI for silent mutation, MI for missense and nonsense is already written nonsense and then friend, FR. So, frame shift, friend, frame shift. Okay. Now, what are these things? Let us go into, let us, let us look at all these things here. I will write it first from here. That is silent mutation. What is silent mutation? In very simple words, now in mutation, what we can see is a pre mutated state. Let me write pre mutated form of DNA, and this is mutated form of DNA. Okay, what nucleotide sequence we are going to see, and what is the result? Does that result in uh, the protein structural alteration, yes or no, that is what we are going to see. So, in silent mutation, what we are going to see is that, let us imagine that in the DNA level, there is, there is something, let us say, you know, earlier, there is a particular coding and that codes for an amino acid. What kind of amino acid is coding for? Let us say glycine. The codon, three letter code, code for glycine. There is only a single nucleotide change. Due to that change, it is still coding glycine. There is no change in the amino acid sequence whatsoever. Or let us say it's, it was coding glutamic acid. Now it is also coding glutamic acid due to the change in nucleotide in such a way. So same amino acid is being synthesized even though the codon is changed. The codon, it was X codon, now the codon is let us say X, X uh, and Y and now we have X, Y, Y for example. Okay? So the codon is altered. But there is no change in the amino acid that is being produced. Now the question is, is it, is it possible? Yes, it is very much possible because we know that the codon is degenerative in nature. That is the three letter code. The first one is conserved. And if you, if you change the second two letters, it is not going to impact the amino acid it is causing, coding for. So this coding's degenerative, degenerative nature can actually explain the silent mutation. It is quite common. Next move to the second type. And this is a missense, missense mutation. Now, this is something that many of you do not understand very well. Now, what is missense mutation? Now, here I am going to tell you is that let us imagine that earlier it was coding for glycine, but now it is coding for glutamic acid. Due to the change in codon, earlier it was coding for glycine, now it is coding for glutamic acid. So, glycine. The R group of glycine is very small, it is not charged, but glutamic acid is negatively charged. So that is going to alter the way amino acid is going to interact to the rest of the other amino acids. So the protein structure will be altered, will be changed and the function will be also changed. But in silent mutations, there is no change of protein structure or function. Now think of this missense mutation of two different kinds you know one is a one is a kind where uh, the resultant is not going to alter the proteins function that much okay so it's kind of conserved the function that the protein had earlier and now will be conserved so those are those are known as conservative conservative kind now this may happen let's say the amino acid is changing but uh, the nature of the amino acid remains the same. So, the nature, nature of the amino acid R group remains the 
same if that is the case for example instead of making glutamic acid you are making aspartic acid so glutamic acid and aspartic acid are different amino acids but they both have a negatively charged or acidic r group that's why they are conserved in nature conservative kind of missense then that is missense mutation but conservative type and there is one kind which is non conservative where the total type of amino acid is altered it is altered but again the function of the protein obviously will be changed obviously will be altered even if we keep the same amino acid type but still uh, the alteration would be visible okay so they will change a lot in missense mutation now the third kind nonsense mutation let me write nonsense and i believe you know this this is one of the most common kind nonsense mutation is a situation where the dna has a point mutation and due to this point mutation insertion of stop codon in the open reading frame is uh, there so insertion of stop codon means basically what we know that there are three stop codon u a a u g a and u a g these are the three one three stop codons now let's say let's imagine there is a situation that earlier there, there was a there is a structure uh, where we have u a uh, c for example now this u a c modified so this c modified to a somehow so c altered to a and as a result u a a codon is originated and u a codon means what it means stop right so this is what happens from let's say u a c to u a a introduction of stop codon and the moment we have a stop codon introduced the protein synthesis will be halted will be stopped there so without this codon let's say the whole open reading frame was there the, the stretch of the amino acid and the polypeptide chain will be bigger but due to the introduction of nonsense mutation a stop codon the protein produced will be truncated so let me write truncated protein truncated version of the protein that means small version of the protein will be produced which obviously will not be functional which obviously will not be functional sometimes it may be functional sometimes it may not but the function of the protein may drastically change due to truncated form so these are the three types which all belong to what i can say the point mutation but they are substitution kind where only nucleotide is being substituted so c instead of c we have a like that this sort of mutations in all these cases that overall number of nucleotides may remain the same only there is a substitution of nucleotide but there is one example where we have insertion or deletion and that is the example of the last kind that is frame shift mutation frame shift mutation so frame shift mutation is a situation where we alter the whole open reading frame the way we are reading the mrna codon into proteins will be altered okay that is the frame shift mutation in frame shift mutation what we are going to see basically uh, the three letter code the structure will be changed that is due to either addition or deletion both addition or deletion lead to change of the open reading frame and that obviously drastically change the way protein functions so for example i can give you a simple idea about the frame shift here let's imagine that we have a u g start codon then let's say we have g a c a uh, c a a uh, a g c g u uh, j u g g c a for example something like this and what we are going to see is that let's imagine that these are all re reading frames right one reading frame this is second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one now frame shift mutation occurs when there is a introduction of a new nucleotide let's say the nucleotide is added here another a is added at this position then what would happen what would happen it will ultimately change a u g g a c c a a another a is inserted here then a g c g u g g c a so now if you are going to read this frame that what we are going to get frame 1 frame 
see frame 1 and frame 2 are equal same no issues frame 3 same no issues from frame 4 onwards we are going to see a change what kind of change we are going to see we can clearly see it here that here we have AAG this is frame 4 CGU 5 6 so the frame 4 earlier was AGC but now it is AAG frame 5 was GUG now CGU and 6 1 GCA now GGC so you can clearly see that here right after the insertion this is the insertion right after this insertion this frame shift is observed this is frame shift this individual three letter codon are known as the open reading frames ORF ok but there is a frame shift observed and we can clearly see the frame shift right after the insertion and also this happen if there is a deletion the same thing happens from that point onwards all the downstream we have a change in frame shift and that will lead to make uh, like that because this frame they will code for different amino acids not the same one like before so they are going to alter themselves and different amino acids are produced and the polypeptide chain will have different structural and functional behavior so these are all kinds of mutations that you are going to see that you are going to find and these mutations are quite common this point mutations even there is change in single nucleotide largely impact the protein structure and function i believe you have a clear idea about the point mutation and the mutation types if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends subscribe to this channel to get more and more videos like that in future and also i'm going to tell you how exactly the repair mechanisms are involved in order to repair mutations and problems that originate during replication and uh, the nucleotide changes in the DNA. Watch that lecture along with it to understand in a better way. Thank you.